Here's how I boost my FPS in 5M and get smooth gameplay. With the right optimizations, you can squeeze the best performance out of your system and enjoy a much smoother experience. These methods are safe, effective, and work on almost any setup. No complicated tricks, just simple adjustments that make a big difference. Let's get started. In the first step, guys, open the Windows search bar and type 5M, then locate the application on your system. Once you see it, right-click on the application and select Open File Location. This will open the folder where the main file is stored, making it easier for you to adjust settings directly. Next, after the folder is open, right-click on the 5M application file again and select Properties. Once the Properties window appears, move to the Compatibility tab. This step is important because here you can make changes that improve stability and performance. Then, inside the Compatibility tab, check the box that says Disable Full Screen Optimization. Now, in the same tab, click on Change High DPI Settings. In this window, check the option that says Override High DPI Scaling Behavior and set it to Application. After that, click Apply and OK. The benefit of this step is that it helps reduce graphics glitches, blurry textures, and improves the overall performance of the game. Finally, press Apply in the Properties window and then click OK to save everything. Now guys, open the Windows search bar and type Game Mode Settings, then press Enter to open the Game Mode panel. Inside the window, make sure the Game Mode switch is turned on, because this allows Windows to focus resources on gaming. The benefit of this step is that your PC will reduce background usage and improve game stability. Next, look at the left side menu and click on Graphic Settings. In this window, you will see an option to browse. Click on Browse and a File Explorer window will open. Now, carefully navigate to the folder where 5M is installed Usually it is in Local Disk C, inside the Users folder, then App Data, Local, and then 5M. Once you are inside, open the 5M Application Data folder, then go into the 5M subfolder, and here you will see 5M.exe. Select this file and then click on Add. The benefit of this step is that you are telling Windows exactly which file should always use high-performance GPU. After adding it, you will see 5M appear near in the list of apps inside graphics settings. Now click on Options, select High Performance, and then click Save. The benefit of this step is that every time you run 5M, your computer will always push maximum graphics power into it, which results in smoother gameplay and better FPS. Finally, close the window because all changes are saved automatically. If you want to get the best performance out of 5M, one of the most effective methods is to fine-tune Windows settings for memory and performance. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing Advanced System Settings, and clicking on the result. In the System Properties window, look for the Performance section and click Settings. This will bring up the Performance Options window, switch to the Advanced tab. Under the Virtual Memory section, click Change. By default, Windows automatically manages paging file size, but to get more control, uncheck. Automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Select your local disk C colon, then choose custom size. In the initial size field, type 1361 megabytes as a balanced starting value. For the maximum size, you'll need to calculate it based on your system RAM. Open the Calculator app, multiply your total RAM in gigabytes by 1024 to convert it to megabytes, then divide the result by 2. For example, if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, the calculation comes out to 8192 megabytes. Enter this number as your maximum size. Once done, click Set, then press OK to apply. While still in the Advanced tab, scroll to the Processor Scheduling section. Make sure Adjust for Best Performance of Programs is selected. This ensures Windows prioritizes active applications like 5M instead of background processes. 
which is crucial for reducing stutter and improving responsiveness during gameplay. Finally, restart your PC to fully apply the changes. After this optimization, 5M should run with improved FPS, smoother gameplay, and a lower chance of lag caused by memory mismanagement. Now, if you are using an NVIDIA graphics card, there is an advanced tweak that can give you an extra performance boost. Start by opening the NVIDIA control panel on your PC. It may take a few seconds to load, especially if optimized settings have been applied before. Once it opens, go to the Manage 3D Settings section and switch to the Program Settings tab. Here you can customize graphics settings for individual applications. First, check Show Only Programs found on this computer to make it easier to locate installed games and software. Then click Add, choose the 5M game sub-process, and you'll see all the adjustable options that directly affect how 5M runs on your system. The first setting to adjust is Power Management Mode. By default, it may be set to Optimal Power or Adaptive, which allows your GPU to downclock itself to save energy during lighter tasks. While this helps with efficiency, it also creates delays when switching back to high performance, often leading to micro stutters and frame drops. To prevent this, change the setting to prefer maximum performance. This forces your GPU to stay in its highest performance state, ensuring smoother and more consistent FPS without sudden slowdowns. Next, locate the texture filtering. Quality option. Usually, it is set to quality which tells the GPU to use extra resources for slightly sharper textures. While this improves visuals a little, it also reduces overall performance. Change it to high performance. This setting prioritizes speed and responsiveness over minor graphical details, and the visual difference is almost unnoticeable in fast-paced games like 5M. However, the performance gain can make a big difference, especially if you want maximum FPS and lag-free gameplay. Now guys, it's time to adjust the in-game settings. First, set the screen type to full screen for smooth gameplay and less input lag. Next, keep the resolution on your monitor's native resolution, like 1920 by 1080 because this gives you clear visuals without blurry textures. The benefit here is that you maintain sharpness while still optimizing FPS. Now turn VSync off, because this reduces input delay and gives higher frame rates. After that, set population density and population variety to medium, so the city still looks alive but doesn't overload your CPU. Distance scaling should also be medium, which keeps the environment realistic without pushing too much load on your system. For texture quality, keep it on high if you have at least 4 GB VRAM, otherwise normal. This makes vehicles, roads, and characters look realistic. The benefit of this step is that you enjoy smooth gameplay without potato textures. Now set shader quality and shadow quality to normal so the lighting looks natural but still doesn't eat too much performance. Reflection quality and water quality can be set to low, because these effects are heavy on the GPU and not so important for performance gaming. The benefit of this step is that you keep realism, but avoid unnecessary lag. Then, turn off MSAA, because it reduces FPS a lot. Set Onosotropic filtering to 4x for sharper ground textures at a distance without much performance hit. Also, turn off ambient occlusion and tessellation, since they cost a lot of FPS for very small detail changes. Finally, in advanced graphics, turn everything off and make sure frame scaling mode is off as well. The benefit of these last steps is that you avoid hidden FPS drains, but still keep the main graphics at a balanced quality. After applying these settings, restart the game so the changes are applied, and now your 5M will run smoothly while still looking realistic and playable. So guys, that was today's video. Hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace out.